COVID at Nigiriza. A new Mojia Mereo Moki, Token Gate, no water, no take a month. Selling is the freedom. The battery made is also Mesa. To buy your local bands, the twin of Chapola and the twin. March 2020, the world quickly closed as humanity began to grasp the COVID-19 pandemic's true human and economic toll. COVID-19 is multidimensional. It is a complex problem that has serious social, political, psychosocial, psychological, cultural, even religious dimensions. Amidst the rush and confusion, enterprises retreated, doors shut, travel stopped, and the uncertainty reigned. What really was going on? Everyone wanted to know. The workers whose jobs disappeared in the moment, business owners whose future hung in balance, and school children asked to just stay home without an idea on when to return. We learned that the closure of any of MSME is disastrous to other uh, related MSMEs or businesses. For example, let's take an example of a school. When you close a school, it is interdependent on very many other actors around it. You close a school, you affect those that supply stationery. You affect financial institutions that uh, give these schools loans. You affect the transporters. You affect the food market. EPRC research would provide timely, up-to-date data to assess and monitor the impact of the pandemic on MSMEs and households, as well as assess responsible authorities' preparedness and regulatory responses that have been adopted in Uganda to mitigate the impact of the pandemic in the immediate, short, medium, and long term. Uh, during the rapid assessment that uh, EPRC undertook, we actually found or many vendors reported that they had supplied schools and had not been paid. <clears throat> so the closure of the school meant that these traders could not uh, recoup uh, one their capital and many were running with less capital. So you can see that just the uh, closure of a school has many uh, multiplier or it has multiplier effects on other related subject sectors. You can actually take any other example, for example Chikubo. When you close Chikubo, you affect the whole chain of actors that supply or depend on Chikubo for survival. You affect transporters, you affect clearing uh, agents, you affect uh, the importers and all that. So what does that mean? It actually tells us that each any measure that targets any of the players should have this wider or bigger picture of the likely effects uh, at the macro level and not only to that uh, specific player. With support from the International Development Research Centre, IDRC Canada, through the COVID-19 Responses for Equity, core initiative, EPRC set out to generate evidence to inform, reassure and instigate interventions that could support MSMEs and reinvigorate the economy in general from the shock. Our first rapid assessment looked at the shock's impact on enterprises in four most affected sectors – education, tourism and hospitality, manufacturing and agribusiness. Our research extolled impact on jobs, government response and businesses' preparedness to withstand the shock. In this case, both direct and indirect COVID-19 related factors for example, just to give you a headline, account for 60% of the closure of businesses we registered in our survey. The research results showed the pandemic impact on the Ugandan economy was devastating, with most MSMEs in Uganda far from resilient. Many enterprises following several rounds of lockdowns adopted key survival strategies, including laying off workers, cost minimization, sleeping in markets for the vendors. Before COVID, for example, if I can take a year 2018, as a municipality, even before being a city, our revenue collection was about 1.3 billion. Um, but after COVID set in 2019, 2020, 2021, that time when there were um, lockdowns, shut ups throughout the country, um, we saw our local revenue really come down as a city. 
our business community here people were off work people our businesses had closed so as a city the collection became very meager um in those four years we think that if it wasn't for COVID in the four years 2018, 19, 20, 21, at this point would be set probably in four billions. One key finding is COVID-19 inflicted permanent business closure and we have complete and partial but the complete closure rate was higher than the partial closure rate. We found out that uh, uh, about 41 percent of the jobs were lost. It was too little too late for some enterprises. As many as half a million Ugandans lost their jobs and tens of enterprises could not be traced in the subsequent surveys, an indicator that many had closed shops. MSMEs were hard hit due to poor coping mechanisms, inadequate capacity to harness technology to support working remotely or in the digital mode. There were hardly any outreaches to these enterprises through the various government support responses. It's worth noting that these responses were available, but most of these enterprises we surveyed were unaware of their availability. The EPRC did not stop there. Through the media, targeted meetings and policy dialogues, we widely engaged various stakeholders to deeply understand the pandemic's impact. The broad objective of the project is to produce timely evidence to inform policies, measures, strategies to mitigate the socioeconomic impacts of COVID-19 on MSMEs, as well as interventions required to reactivate uh, this category of the economy during the COVID-19 pandemic and after the, po the post-COVID-19 era.